This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think it's him analyzing that data, but that tell every day. The data they release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the market to make bad trading decisions. Listen, a lot of people are concerned about AMC price dropping. They think AMC is going to go to zero. They think AMC is going to go bankrupt. Now, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm just telling you my opinion and what I'm going to do. Okay? First of all, AMC is not going back from, in my opinion. I mean, the only way AMC goes back from, and I've told y'all this in many videos, the only way AMC goes bankrupt is if AMC goes bankrupt on purpose. It's the board and Adam Aaron bankrupt AMC. The numbers, if AMC never went bankrupt, when nobody was able to go to the movies, when there was only debt and no money coming in, they didn't go bankrupt. Why would they go bankrupt now with all these blockbuster movies, with all these different revenue streams? AMC is not going bankrupt. That is just the narrative that they're pushing to get you to sell your shares. But as of this recording, it's about 7 a.m. on Monday, the 26th. 26 the 26th okay monday june 26 amc has zero shares available to short zero and earlier this morning i think around five o'clock they had like two thousand okay two thousand all weekend all they had was two thousand shares available to short now these guys usually in the past over the last 30 months the weekend is when they have their fun when the market is closed and we can't trade is when they start doing their shenanigans, when they're trading counterfeit shares back and forth between each other to plan to illegally manipulate the market on Monday. But as of right now, zero shares available to short and the short the, the cost to borrow, 197%. So even that is going up. Even that is going up. And then look at what happened on Friday. On Friday, they pushed the price down, but let's be realistic. These guys put the price down on Friday when they had less than 10,000 shares available to short all day, but somehow, somehow, 8 million shares were shorted into the market. Explain that to me. There were only 10,000 shares, less than 10,000 shares available on Friday, yet they shorted 8 million shares into the market. So when people are, are telling me that, oh, are you concerned? Are you worried about AMC price dropping? No, I am not. I am not concerned. It, I don't, it doesn't keep me up at night. No, it doesn't. Because I know that these guys have to buy back these shares. Every single shorter is a guaranteed future buyer. Every single shorter is a guaranteed future buyer. So I am not concerned one bit about them illegally pushing the price down because as far as I'm concerned, the minute they have to start closing out those short positions, AMC will hit the moon. Anyway, please in some comments, tell me what you think. Do you think that AMC is going bankrupt or do you think that cost to bar creeping back up is an indication that these shorters are in trouble? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.